the tempo jump up and down max for life device for ableton live lets you change your bpm um, up and down by clicking on the plus and minus fields and you can set how many values the bpm should jump up or down as well you can actually automate this as well so for example if you play a gig and you feel like well today the tempo should be a bit faster you can just click here of course you can set up midi mappings here as well for those buttons used so you can use any midi controller which is sending midi notes i have a cork nano pad 2 here and a not run 3p just for sending midi notes to do this so one way of doing this would be to activate the midi map menu then go into or select the button you want to sync so let's take maybe the minus button here and then select the plus button and then press on the midi controller of the, on the button on your midi controller um, you want to map this too and now you can see i can change the bpm here so if you want to automate those changes it's important that you set the button mode to toggle so because um, the midi map buttons or via the midi map buttons via the midi map mode buttons in ableton live will stay on so you would need two hits here so that's why you are having a toggle function here which you can set to toggle or to momentary so now i just need to hit my midi controller once which makes sense for live view live use obviously there is another way to midi control this device and those buttons here you are able to send midi notes directly into this track and you just need to activate those direct midi note inputs here to set this up you can just quickly press s for syncing and now this track and this button is listening for the next incoming midi note so if i now hit um, my not run 3p it detects the note this pad is sending and let's do this for the plus button here as well and now i'm able to control the master bpm via my pads as I said before, you can change those values here and you can automate those changes of values if that's needed in an Ableton Live set.